death row. And since I came in the game, they careers on death row. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I would never see the day that I'll be talking about DJ Academics and Saucy Santana in the same damn sentence. So y'all know City Girls put out the, their album, their fourth album, mind you, called Raw, aka Raw Ass Whores. I to this day will not understand why they named it that shit, but they did. Okay, the shit only sold six k to eight k in the first week, and that was a floppity flop for y'all fourth album. Now everybody has made the critiques on how the City Girls about to come to a close because they can definitely tell that Young Miami and JT are not on the same page, and of course, Academics being Spider who does commentary on music. Okay said the city girl song was trash so check this out uh, i want to talk about the city girls i'll briefly talk about the city girls and i'm gonna be honest with you man i think the city girls are completely over with and they did the most pathetic interview i just seen recently and we we need to hold some of these some of these um makeshift makeshift um chameleon non-talented lazy non-passionate people accountable you see the city girls are the definition of people who have gotten to places in their career without ever really doing the work let me be very very clear about them the city girls are a byproduct of good writers good people that put image around them people that branded them the city girls there's nothing the city girls has actually ever really did for their fucking self. I will say this, that Breakfast Club interview was very lackluster for me as well, for the simple fact that, okay, this is your fourth album. Everybody, again, is talking about the city girls being separated, city girls ain't doing anything like they're supposed to, the city girls X, Y, and Z. JT already came out and said she's going to do a solo project by herself, and that you might want to be the next Oprah. Got it. I feel like because academics and people don't like academics because he say his shit the way he, he does and it was easy to attack him. Now, for your mind to say the city girls, this city girls, that, but why you talk about us? <sighs> well... Let's let Santana tell you his piece because once again, Santana defends Young Miami, but not JT. Check this out. Academics, you keep talking about what the fuck Carisha said to you, what the fuck, how Carisha put about you, is how she put about you. Me being her best friend, that don't have nothing to fucking do with me. In the hood, and in, in, in a lot of urban cultures, when you see boys that are acting feminine, that are being messy, that are being extra and doing fag shit, that's what you address them as. Even as me being a gay man, I don't move like a fag. And it's a lot of other gay boys that's feminine or whatever but everybody don't move like fags you move like a fag and that's why bitches is always calling you that it don't have nothing to do with nobody else you always on the internet starting shit with bitches i wake up this morning you start shit with glorilla a girl what the fuck is you bothering her for what the fuck is you doing interviews keep talking about young miami for you think nobody gonna press you up and that's the motherfucking problem we was hoping to see you at the roots picnic but apparently it was the it was the wrong day you nobody don't ever know where you at but we all have public flyers and posters on our motherfucking page so tuesday young miami has a party in, in, in miami she having a halloween party pull up on us pull up and come and, and come holler and it's not about her to it's not for young Miami to ever say to you because she a girl. You a man. You a nigga. And you on and you doing an interview talking about, oh, I was about to beef with Santana, but I had to, I had to ball, I had to bow down because I was gonna lose. So you mean to tell me you could publicly bully a bitch on the internet every motherfucking day, but you don't want to get in, you don't want to get into a spat or a combat or a physical altercation with a motherfucking gay boy. But you like to argue with bitches though. Stop playing with people. The bitches don't play on the internet. So Carisha got a party on Tuesday in Miami and pull up and you don't have to say nothing to her. Come and address me. Come and address the niggas that's gonna be in the motherfucking room stop playing games on the internet and then you wondering why bitches calling you boxy boys and fags and punks because you're drama field and you only fuck with bitches you only arguing with bitches all motherfucking day i'm a nigga i don't even do that i'm a gay boy and i don't even fuck with bitches all day bitch i really like to slap the shit out of, out of niggas bitch since i was a kid that's what the fuck i do since high school i fought boys i never fought bitches a day in my motherfucking life I, I don't even argue with bitches as much as you. And you're supposed to be the straight one so stop doing all the cap pull up we got posters pull up on tuesday in miami and settle that 
D. Here's my issue, right, with Santana. Every time they talk about the city girls, you only defend your Miami. I don't know what Santana got against JT, but every time it comes to defend the city girls, you only talk about young Miami as a JT not part of the damn group. And this why they ask to separate it because it's shit like that. Y'all always make the narrative of them them not being friends for real or whatever the fuck y'all want to call it true when you do shit like that. Okay, so with that being said. And your mommy doesn't have lackluster bars. Let's talk about it. Your mommy did not rap for, like for a sharp on an elementary school level. And I said it. So whatever. Anyway. Huh. Academics came back with a response. And baby. <laughs> Check this out. Mr. Batiman with the beard and the BBL. Take your fucking tampon out of your fucking asshole for a second. Okay? I understand you've been wearing thongs so much. You must be really caught up. Thinking you really talking crazy to me. First and foremost, let me address anything. I don't want anybody to think I, I move around in fear or I'm ever hiding. I'm not of y'all industry, folks. I made millions not chilling with y'all. I made millions not sucking y'all dick. And I shouldn't even use that pun because Mr. BBL with the beard, Saucy Santana, you suck dick. That's your thing. Let me tell you, you know what? I was going to come on here and flame you like any real Jamaican would I flame you. But you know what? I'm not going to do it. Boy, you got a mental illness, nigga. When I wake up and I look in that mirror and I got an urge every morning to go get some head from a bad bitch or go fuck a bitch, that's not you, nigga. You got a mental illness, my nigga. And I ain't saying being gay is a mental illness, but I see how you carry yourself. You don't know if what you're doing and what you're living is some shit that people should really support. Because I seen your stupid ass video. No, no, there's a difference. There's a difference when my best friend says a derogative slur about what I am, my nigga. Let me just put into perspective for you. I'm Jamaican. If any derogative slur against Jamaicans, a nigga say it, it ain't. I know it wasn't the full clip. I just need you to hear what he said that led to Santana not responding. Now, here's my thing. Now, Livingston, um, Livingston, let me tell you something, sweetie. Um, nobody want that dusty ass dick you got. Let me tell you that. First of all, you pay for pussy because no real bitch wanna fuck you for real. Okay, let's just get that straight and, and, and put it out there. Who is really out here giving um DJ Academic some real pussy without a, a coin behind it? He he talks about it all the time about flying bitches in and, and paying for pussy. Like nigga, please don't be one of the niggas. Cause yes, you wake up in the morning, you can call a bitch and get some pussy, but guess what? You're paying behind it. What real bitch is really fucking <laughs> academics because they want to? <laughs> anyway, Santana responded. <laughs> Check this out. See what type of nigga we dealing with right now? Pull up to your headquarters. 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 Niggas is in the streets. I want to meet in the road. Yo, headquarters. Nigga, what the fuck is somebody meeting you at your headquarters for? That's the problem. See, I think I'm starting to think that maybe this is your aesthetic. You do the fake internet shit, and then you and you sit in a room full of motherfucking cameras and try to make a bitch crash out. You know, that's like, we from the hood. Oh, yeah, that's like we tell the bitch, uh-huh, come in my house. Come in my house, because I can do whatever I want to I mean, I, you don't have to, me and you can meet, we, we, we want to meet you outside. I want to meet you outside. I don't want to pull up to no motherfucking headquarters, bitch. Corporate ass nigga. I don't want to pull up to no motherfucking headquarters. I want to meet you in the club. I want to meet you in the field. I want to meet you in the streets. I want to see you outside. Let's get active. Headquarters. And I don't want to keep even pressing that we get on, we from the hood, because we corporate too. We corporate too, don't get it wrong. Bitches is cashing nice checks out this bitch. But we all know your motherfucking headquarters is giving 911, what's your emergency? Bitch, no. We're not doing that. We want to see you out the door, outside in the motherfucking field, bitch. Fuck is you chatting about? Fuck is you talking about, bitch? Body man, bitch ass nigga. Nobody not pulling up to no motherfucking headquarters? Think this bitch work for McDonald's or something? Stop motherfucking playing with me, bitch. We want to see you out the door. In the streets, in the field, in the streets, in the club. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere, well, let, 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 let's get it on. Bitch, that's what the fuck we want to do. Bitch, and after I beat you, I'm going to fuck you on your ass because you a bitch ass nigga. That's what we do to you. And I don't want to keep even pressing that we get on. We from you always motherfucking pressing a BBL, fag. Bitch, you sit on your thick ass. Bitch, you a, I got a BBL, bitch, and you a BBW. That's what you do. You big, you big, you a big black woman. That's what you is. Sitting on that motherfucking couch, chatting your motherfucking gums all motherfucking day, popping shit like a hoe. 
I, you always talk about a BBL, but you sit on your thick ass all day. You a motherfucking stallion to me, bitch. Actually, you're a motherfucking bull. You fucking blimp, bitch. Who the fuck is you playing with? Hey, I, I got a fucking head. Like, <laughs> you're a clown. You a clown. You a joke, nigga. You a joke. And you talking with so much aggression and hostility behind a computer for a nigga that we don't see in public. Do I think that Santana could beat up uh, academics? Absolutely. Don't let the nails and the beard and the BBL fool you. Santana is still a punk. And punks fight. Okay? Um, don't The gays do fight. And I don't see academics putting his hands and winning because guess what? All he likes to do is argue with women. He does not argue with men. Uh, academics don't. So I can see that beat the brakes off him. And again, pull up in the streets. Why am I going to pull into your studio phone, nigga? No. If you have the advantage, nah. Uh -uh. So I'm scary ass bitch shit to me. Um, uh, academics, you ain't got no real friends, ho. Please be weary that you make a threat online that, yeah, they going to work out. See, when you threaten Gorilla, because the girl said, the, your girlfriend said you're going to beat her ass. And then she backed up and said, no, she went 100K. Yeah, your girlfriend could probably fight, but not you. So, yeah. Tread lightly. Because that's funny you said that you're going to beat Santana ass. Girl, boy, please. Anyway, <laughs> this shit was so funny. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. What's been, sweetie? <laughs> the upper body, baby. What's been, sweetie? Someone once told me the grass is much greener.